So here, show me your uh, tennis racket on your head again. Why, why you got to do that? Just say, why don't you show me the thing you use for your hair? Why you got to call it? It looks like a tennis racket and I like it. Let me see. Hold on. Hold it up before you use it. Wait, so, so I brought it out, gotta use it. That's, that's the waffle maker. Oh, um, that's what it's called? A waffle maker? No, it looks like <laughs> Oh, no waffle maker. Oh, I was like, oh, that's cool. Just can't eat breakfast uh -huh. all in the same <laughs> five minutes. That's why to hear got it, because he was like, oh, I can eat my waffles and I can yeah. do my hair. Ooh, that, she on there roasting already. She already, see? And then she was talking about we was laughing at her when Arvin was saying her baby, unborn baby was going to be That, was that wasn't even us. disrespectful to hear. That was disrespectful. I, I didn't say that was Arvin. It was, it was so you, shockingly disrespectful. I was, I was more shocked than anything. <laughs> You need, you need more titties on the screen to to. Defend. Girl, you would think we had enough to to hear right. on here, but it ain't enough. <laughs> we need the estrogen that go along with the titties because it do be a whole lot of titties on here every week. All right, not all female. You gotta be specific. Now. Be to. Let me know if you have any problems. Estrogen. <laughs> hey, y'all ever be like? Living life, and then you have a moment where you stop and be like, God damn, I'm really adulting out here. Like, you pay rent or something like that, or like, like I just, I, it just happened right now because I'm like, damn, well, this is our studio, this is yeah. our podcast room, sharing Wi Fi and shit like that, and working with my friends. Like, are we all building, working together. I just had one of the moments like, God damn, we really adulting out here. You, you even Dope. more adulting for bringing that up. Cause it sounds, it sounds like one of those, you know, man, we do well in life. Ah, ah. <laughs> Dante, I know you ain't talking. You really, you really the don't know here too. You want to have a baby. That's how dope yeah. you are. Why do you keep pulling out different forms? Your oh my gosh. It, it doesn't yeah. look the same. I have to so listen. Here's the thing. To get it where I really want it, I have to do more maintenance to it, right? So I have to like pull it, pull it apart a little bit and then do a little cleanup right there. See, the, the, this right here, the racket separates all the hair, right? Boom, right? So everybody's in a little space. And then this right. gives it the definition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta I, give it I'm a little afraid definition. to see the next I just step. feel like I see smoke because it's nothing but dry kindling that you just keep rubbing on. And all that about to be set on fire. Meg, you don't have lenses in your glasses, so shut your homeless ass up. <laughs> don't you, don't you to say These are prop people. glasses for the screen. Okay? Prop my ass. You are homeless. <laughs> you got a you got a nice background against a shopping cart, and you are on a sidewalk. I don't need right. a lenses because then you're gonna see a glare like you. I can see if you over here looking at your little porn on Twitter that you like to look at. I can see it in your glasses right now. Guess what? Okay, you can't well, see that in my all, glasses. You wouldn't see that because that's on my phone. I never look at Twitter on my screen. I always well, look if you look down, phone. we can see it to here. It's my point. Oh, I wouldn't look down. I'm working right now. This is not porn time. This is work time. We. I don't know to here. I don't put anything past you. So I'm just saying. That's you, good for you not to because I am a wild boy. I will. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so. Oh boy, but no, I wouldn't do this on the clock. Come on, I wouldn't get the. I wouldn't get the channel strike. <laughs> I've done some wild that's very weird though that it is on twitter like that and you can't post it bro it, <laughs> i love it i love because <laughs> before before i started looking at porn on uh on, on twitter it used to be on tumblr tumblr used to be the plug for the porn tumblr? and then like they, they put, what child oh, there's pictures what child no honey it was the best. What would you do? You would just like type in porn and then all this stuff would come no, out? No, I just curated my page to just <laughs> porn things. Like you'll, you'll go to one person's page and then you'll see who liked it and stuff like that. And you go to their page, you're like, oh, they got some good shit too. Follow them, follow them. So I had curated <laughs> a perfect thread for just the porn that I like. POV, you know what I'm saying? Homemade. I don't want, I don't want all the production value and shit. Right. I wanted to look grainy. I want a shaky camera. You know what I'm saying? I want her to have on Mitch Matt socks. You know what I'm saying? That means right. she wasn't even planning on giving up the goods. And that nigga talked all about it. I'm like, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's that shit I like. Oh, hey, you hey, bro. walked in at a crazy time, CP. Yes. Yeah, I did, man. Hey, check this out. Tell check your camera, the, CP. There you go. Hold on. Text me the um hey. text me the text me the. <laughs> Text me the Wi-Fi password. I'm on my phone, bro. It's not working. Okay. On my... Okay. Give me one second. Then I'll, then I'll be on the record. Right 
But I just See, didn't you want out here being the pat of the pat of squad cast now. What does that mean? Pat be showing up late and then his wife he'd be like he don't have Wi-Fi or he is not in a good location. He's on his phone. Oh man, Meg, you look very pretty today. Thank oh, that you. was really nice. Oh, see? What's up, Shantae? <laughs> Shantae is always pretty, okay? Shantae <laughs> got the most but see, but see, I'll take that in. <laughs> Shantae, you look sweet as hell today. You know what I'm saying? I look good. I look, I look, you look good. Yeah, you All do right. look out cold with it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I still like my compliments, CP. You know Yeah, what I mean? you feel me? You feel me? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that, brother. But yeah, man. I gotta let our, we gotta let our pregnant queens know. You know what I'm saying? That they uh that they are man? appreciated. I am, girl. I'm out here. I'm out the bus. I'm out the bus. Look. Look. Hey. I'm out here, girl. Hey. <laughs> That's why they was talking about the unborn. I just thought they was talking about if you had one. Congrats. Oh, there's really it's a baby in you're glowing too. And I, oh, you know, you. no, real talk. But I was, that's dope. Yeah, she got the glow. I saw it saying. That's really, I thought it was my highlighter, but I'll take that compliment, no, girl. No, Thank your you. Face, yeah, yeah. How, how long are you? How far? I'm like, how long are you? Two months left. Hey, CP, my business. <laughs> I, 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 like you are uh, pregnant, pregnant or sore. How long yeah. is your birth canal? Let's talk about your canal, <laughs> shall we? Let's talk about some of that canal, huh? Your <laughs> so you, wait, is to here? Is, is he correct? He said you were trying to have a baby. Yeah, we we're uh, about to plan on doing that in like we we want to start like we want her to get pregnant in November December. Okay. I about to say, dog, you better not get pregnant, my dog. You better not. I mean, no, you so can crazy, if you want to. I ain't gonna say that. No, no, no. So the crazy thing is, I still have to go through like two weeks of emotion. So I'm, a, I'm gonna be a whole female for like two weeks until the shit get pregnant because I gotta inject myself. Did you get what? a? Oh, wait, is your egg? Yeah, I'm taking my egg and put it in her. I'm, I'm about to hit forty, so I want to try me first, and then yeah. if we have a second child, her, or if my shit don't work, then we just go to her. So you have to have a baby, a whole baby mama out here. Oh, you know, a whole like baby mama, nigga. I'm practicing that's now. Crazy. You might have thought you dropped your egg. Yeah, I'm, about, I'm oh, about to really be man. with the squad, nigga. I'm like, yo, these oh, he trying man. to get you. Uh, <laughs> you ain't gonna never get to play the game. Uh, you know, you know what, the dog. Had, let me tell you something, CP. One of the dopest things about having my uncles come into, you know, they fame and stuff like that is I got to experience a lot of that type of love early on in my life. So once I hit a certain age, once I got to see the streets, I was like, I like relationships. It helped, it helped me stay focused. It helped me, you know, do all that stuff. But the stuff that I've seen and incurred on the road, mm -hmm. brother. Well, that's good for you, Shantae, because the streets are calling my name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for the yeah, whole. over here like, yeah, well, get it, my yeah, my uncles is crackheads. My they ain't right. do shit for my uh for none of my uh this is. I'm okay, here, but y'all 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 starting the life now. I'm just saying yeah. I'm I, fuck I, all I, that. I didn't work this hard for just for likes and shares. I'm here for what? the holes. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my wife want the holes. All the holes they want to Yeah, but your wife, you you got a specific type of wife. Yeah. You know, you, really what you're saying That's is your it. wife want the hoes. Mm -hmm. And now you get to say it out loud. Mm-hmm. Because I get to I get to look and be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, that's. We be going to the mall just looking at women like, look at her. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this I'll, I'll buy her some, some popcorn at the movies. I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll break a 20. i break yeah. a 20 on some popcorn yeah. for baby girl. Let me tell you something. I did the th dating three women at once. I did the threesomes. It just, it, it was a lot of headache. I will say that, though. Shantae. I'm not going to lie, Shantae. It take you about five or six pages to get to the kind of porn you're talking about living. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about <laughs> swipe, 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 swipe. Here it is. The four-way ebony threesome that I've been right. looking for with the Go ahead, my said. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm no, sorry. No, no, but but imagine how much work you got to do to get. Could we curse or or say yeah. stuff? Okay. Imagine yeah. how much work you got to do to just try to get one pussy. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about like trying to get it. Like no, nah, not if you not if not if you spy from the inside out. You know what's going on. What? Yeah, you able to sneak. 
CP, that's still work. Bro, that's, okay, put it like this, put it like this. You are undercover. I used to work at... <laughs> you undercover. Go ahead, you used to work yeah. at, my bad. No, I used to work at Victoria's Secret when I was in uh when I was in 12th grade. So, like, really? what happened was, it was on a dare. Peep this, it was a dare. So, my mom was like, y'all got to, you know, me and my boy Marcus, she was like, y'all got to go get some damn jobs. In 12th grade, I got a car, I'm asking for gas money and shit. It's embarrassing. She's like, go to the mall, get y'all some jobs. So we walking around, walking around. We see this fine ass girl in uh, Victoria's Secret. We go in there, we fucking around. You know what I'm saying? I was so recklessly charming back then. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to fuck. I was, I was 18. I was cutting in. What up, though? What up, though? I was telling you get off. Woo, woo, woo. She's like, whatever. You I'm, I'm, I'm here. Uh, give me an application. She gave me an application. Built that bitch out. They called me and Marcus. Marcus, I think I ain't going to that shit. My mama like, fuck it, you should just go see. They had me working in the stock room. I just bring out all of the lotions, set the lotions up, you know, all of the prickly pear and all of that. And I'd be, I'd just be in the back listening to the radio. It was like porn stars coming in there getting like specific, like um, like ordered shit from the catalog. They would get a shipped to the store. They'd be in the back trying that shit on. I saw a lot of shit, but um, you know, they weren't feeling me. They was just, I was just cool. Like they was just like, oh, that's little Chris. But secretly, I was like, "Yeah, this is, this is, this is jack off material." When I get home, <laughs> yeah, but you just said all of that to not even win in the end. <laughs> and, it's, and, and what I'm saying is the three. But it's songs. hard. But like you, but like I'm saying, it's hard. I, but, but listen, I said that to say that I was I was behind the lines. I saw what goes into you know what I'm saying. I was yeah, at yeah, beast. Doing, you know what I'm saying. You got the but I still couldn't get enough. Yeah. Right, but but I'm not even saying, with your discount. Right. <laughs> oh no, I you definitely a hey, right low coupon. key. I couldn't get nothing in the store. I was I had I I, I had a little reputation. Right. Being able to get you a get a bitch a spray here and there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, make a bitch day with a spray. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in motion with the lotion. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> make a bitch drink with a cream. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Man. That's hilarious, hey, man. <laughs> right. It's a lot of work to be in these streets. A lot of work. That's ridiculous. Anyway, um, I think this is about as good as ever spot for us to go ahead and jump into the first topic of the day. That's exactly what we're going to do right after this. Meal prepping is difficult, but ButcherBox makes it very easy. ButcherBox is a subscription service that takes the guesswork out of finding high quality meat. ButcherBox sources their meat from partners with the highest standard and highest quality. No more searching the stores for 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, wild-caught seafood, and more. Their sourcing decisions are made holistically, keeping the farmer, the planet, the animal, and your family in mind. My favorite cut of meat is the wild-caught salmon. I like to season that bad boy up and bake it real nice. My wife and I had that baked salmon with some mashed potatoes, some greens on the side. Mmm, ah, delicio. The salmon tasted so fresh, fresher than any other salmon that I've tasted. Every month, ButcherBox ships a curated selection of high quality meats right to your door. And it's free shipping for the continental US. No antibiotics or added hormones. You can customize your box or you can go with theirs. Either way, you'll get exactly what you want. This is your chance to never have to shop for ground beef again. That's right, ButcherBox is giving new members free ground beef for life. Plus, get a $10 off coupon. That's right, just sign up at butcherbox.com squad and get two pounds of ground beef free in every order for the life of your membership plus a $10 off coupon. Log on to butcherbox.com slash squad to claim this deal. All right, first topic of the day we have, would you rather discover how the pyramids were made versus what's at the bottom of the ocean? Mm. What if it's the same thing? <laughs> right. <laughs> that will be lit, though. That will be lit. I feel like yeah, Elliot said- with no ocean. You say you're not messing with the ocean? I'm not messing with the ocean. I can't. I went snorkeling one time and didn't even really go snorkeling. I just had the glasses on and did this in the water. <laughs> I saw one of them little black fishes and was done. <laughs> 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 
plot. <laughs> That's so racist. I saw one of them nigger fish. Young... I got the fuck off. <laughs> that was what that. <laughs> It's supposed to be a nice yeah, vacation. That, nigga fits it was everywhere. Hawaii. I was looking for some. <laughs> yeah. hey, man, Nemo. <laughs> See me, this Shade was like, they said this was the good part of the right. ocean. They dropped me off in the hood. Look at man. all these nigger fish. Hey, but the fish probably was get up. Ain't no fucking Nemo over here, no. Shade. <laughs> they was so little, dude. There was stingrays in there and jellyfish, but I just saw this little thing. Wait, wait, by. wait, wait, wait. There were stingrays and yes. jellyfish, and you yes. were only turned off by the nigga fish. No, it you was, ain't shit. No, 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 you no, ain't no. shit, Sante. That is no, hate. Brother. That Listen, is there were I alligators. Hate. There were salamanders. Those black Those fish. goddamn nigga fish. That was shark, down. jellyfish, no. lions, tigers, hey, and bears hey, in the water. Here, but you saw here. Here. black fish. They're in our school. They're in our school. Y'all trying to Joe Rogan? Golly. Damn, is that what it's like to be a Wayne? That's why nobody else gets put on in the family? Wow. <laughs> wow. I think y'all doing pretty good over there. Y'all, y'all, uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna hey, say. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> I didn't know we had to fuck with the ocean to find out what's at the bottom. I just, I just, like, I would like a printed report, like a 48 page brief. I don't need to go near that bitch. Just like, what? Well, give me the, give me the, the the uh the documented right. tea. I don't need the I don't need a sip. Just give me. Wait, the, this doesn't the say you have to go through the right, ocean right, right, to right, find right. it. You, you just find you out what discover. There. Like you could literally be, you know, it could come to you in a dream, or the alien could tell you. On either one, it, it feel like an alien is going to be responsible for telling it because we don't have the technology to go to the bottom of the ocean. Ain't that a like, bitch? Oh, we're yeah. trying to go to space. We didn't even finish our homework. We were trying Bro, to get some dirt. That's the crazy shit to me. We got a whole space force as a part of a branch of military. And we don't yeah. even know. I'm talking about what, what is it? 80% of the oceans aren't even discovered yeah. or explored? Yeah. Like, yeah. we ain't even cleaned That's up the so house cool. and niggas out here trying to go get a new car. Clean up this goddamn house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. If you running from them boys, though, you better go down in the ocean. They ain't nobody coming fucking with you. That's how you do it. Get away from the police. See what's the down there. Cause there's so much, you know, to, cause I feel like, okay, we know somebody built the pyramids. We don't exactly know who, right. But you right. literally don't know what is in the ocean. It could be a whole city. It could be a whole new breed of people down there. Bro. My homeboy I'm got bit about... by a megalodon when he was a baby. Okay. You know what? <laughs> well, that, You're not gonna that's that's how vast it is. You can just lie. Can anybody de declassify your lie? You can be like, damn, for real, Megalodon Dinosaur, because you don't know it's this vast ocean. Yup, it happened. Yeah, all the dinosaurs could be down there now. Like, you don't know. It'll be so cool. I wonder, yeah, I wonder, that's what I want to see, like, what old animals are down, like, prehistoric animals have survived because no one can go down there, and they're the biggest threats. Like, sharks are, un they, sharks have been unchanged, not sharks, but crocodiles and alligators have been unchanged for thousands of years because they're, like, the perfect fucking predator. Yeah, like, that's crazy. Like no evolution for thousands of years, nigga. That's crazy. I mean, they sweet wow. as hell. They armored. They got that little lens over their eye. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They sneaky and mean. They got the perfect mm -hmm. recipe for mm -hmm. like, everything. Yeah, land and water. Mm -hmm. I, I think in general, I think people people feel safer about. Like, there's only two types of aliens you really hear about when you talk about pyramids and shit, you hear maybe the Anunnaki and just aliens, but we've seen them in movies. It's the unknown of going in the ocean and mm -hmm. seeing a whole new world. I don't care how nice they are or anything, but to see that you could want to know all you want. It is scary as fuck though. Here's the thing though. Is it scary because it's unknown or is it scary because we have knowledge of what we do know? Because if we were kids, I feel like, like, you know, kids are fearless. They jump off the top of yeah. monkey bars. They jump off the top of sw slides and do back, back flips off of the swings. You're fearless then because you feel like nothing can hurt you. So right. I wonder if we're more afraid of what we don't know because of what we do know. And if yeah, we for sure. Fearless. Because how many movies we, that they go in the ocean hasn't been positive experience? Right, except so I'm saying, I'm saying, send some fucking kids down in the ocean, man. Get some, some like a seven year old, eight year old, and just throw them motherfuckers in the middle of the ocean to see what the fuck happens, bro. <laughs> but yeah. see, wait, but that's a good point. All the movies, though, got one theme like the aliens are all like some kind of cephalopod squid style mm -hmm. alien, and then you look at the ocean, 
And you know, like them squids and them giant octopuses and shit. That's like the shit. That's the, you know, yeah. what I'm saying like something. I'm, they they got something to do with each other. You know what I'm I saying? Really, like I really feel like we don't utilize kids in studies mm-hmm. enough because I feel like when I'm we trying kids, to see people's no, no, children no, 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 no. die. No, 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 no. Straight up, this little shit. You're trying to dip them in the ocean to see what bites them. No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. When you're a kid, you be like. Well, I'll just do this and I'll just do this. And there's always adults that come along and stifle your creativity. Blah, well, you can't do this because of the law of gravity. You can't do this because physics and all of this. But kids think so out of the box. I feel like if scientists work hand in hand with kids, they might help them think outside of the box for things that they've never thought of for cures for uh, we're not sending like kids that. down there to hear. I'm not even talking about the you. ocean, Meg. I'm I talking get, about like everything. Saying, though, just the free, the freeness of it. The because we're so confined by laws. Yeah, we're so confined by laws of what is and what isn't. And kids think outside the box. It's like when they're drawing or they're they're yeah. making something or they're using their imagination to say this is my spaceship. Like they right. think outside the box. And if I feel like I don't know how and what capacity scientists could work with them, but like. Like if if a doctor went to a kid like, okay, I have this problem with this patient, how would you fix it? And just hear what the kid would say, because that might tap into something that a doctor may think about using a different level of creativity because they're just focused on medical science and what yeah, is right. what to hear, to hear right. but do you think that if, if you that fucking patient and you sitting there and the doctor team come in and they walk in with an eight-year-old and they're like, look at this is a disease we've never seen before, trying to figure out how to dissolve it. What do you think? The eight year old is like peanut butter jelly sandwich. Yeah. And then you sit there like, though, I got the best insurance that I possibly walked in this bitch with. And you know what I'm saying? You got what you if it worked though? Sandwich? You right. I was about to say you got read the code. And what if he just wanted the peanut butter and jelly sandwich to think? You yeah. know what I mean? You get the peanut butter and that's his like, coffee. The PB and J is his coffee. Is- <laughs> right. That's his give it that peanut butter and jelly. He'd be like, hmm, now nah, tell me your problem again. Right. Okay. You gonna okay. do a little bit, but it okay. but it is very true that kids are just fearless. I think the biggest thing, especially about the ocean, is that 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 pressure. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And nobody that drowning shit, I think, is mm-hmm. way scarier than falling from the sky. You know what I mean? Or I, I don't know why. Maybe it feels like there's more safety, but once them waters hit, it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Not so you gotta get them. Pressure. I agree, Shante. We gotta get them early when we throw them in the water yeah, because they yeah, already used to. Right. Hey, but water's so <laughs> tricky that you go down so deep to where all of a sudden it's like your body realizes that this much water is on top of you, and then right. now you have this force that you're in between of. Uh, almost like a cement style of water underneath you that's not going to let you push down because you're too light yeah. and then this water is on top of you now that you're trapped and it just crushes you mm. like so it's like it's it's almost like by design we're not able to go down there which makes me want to know what's down there what's the down pyramids is well. like look dog yeah i, I kind of do want to know how they did that with no cranes no gas mm-hmm like no we no modern you know technology. Like, yeah. I don't just, think we want to know. I, I think I would want to know what they look like. Mm. I would want to see it being done. Like, uh, it was like, black people, okay? That's right. who did it. It but wasn't I, no aliens. Yeah, but I'm saying they weren't <laughs> short like us. I'm talking about looking at how they look because I'm sure they look more powerful. They were way than shorter than us back then. Were they were they? Were, yeah. yeah. They were way short. They like, dig up they, like the like the um. Well, it, it you can't really go by the what weird. they find in the tombs and stuff because those were like all inbred, the kings and pharaohs and stuff. No, they but if you're talking about building the pyramids, and yeah. I mean, again, this is on the level of talking about the Anunnaki. They weren't short. You know, these are like giants on the alien tip version. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. are they called? Mm-hmm. Nephilies? Nephilia? Yeah, Nephilim, yeah, yeah. Nephilim, but it wasn't Nephilim, yeah, they yeah. weren't the Nephilims though. Yeah, 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 you're right. My bad. The Nephilims were supposed to be the, the children of them after they came down here and started big dicking them earth women down. Yeah, yeah. Earth women yeah. was like, Where did dick about yeah. I swear to God, bitch. Yeah. Next thing you know, <laughs> them niggas, them niggas are splitting them hoes in half. Yeah, Next thing you know, it's like with the humans. Yeah. I heard that version. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> Bitch, we going up the hill. Shut up. 
Put the Elliot Kemp skirt on. The Elliot oh, Kemp sneaking here and fucking with Earth women. Like, right. no, look, you can't tell nobody. Can I tell my girl? You can tell your girl, but I got to fuck your girl. Okay. <laughs> Those yeah, are the first groupies, like, bro, she came now, from the sky. This nigga came down in a spaceship. He had all type of snacks. Yeah. Fuck this lead. You know, the radio in that bitch was sweet as hell, too. She got it. What is this? This is shit you ain't never heard before. It's like, <laughs> pick up, pick up, She was like, this is my shit. Hey, that bitch relaxing, some little uh, Moscato. <laughs> bitch, I'm going to show you the stars. <laughs> They came back boozy as hell. All they had in Europe was, was them little dick statues everywhere. Right. That was the wrong time to do that. What? <laughs> they up there like Versace by Cologne. They like, nigga, no, that's the wrong time for that. <laughs> Read the room, my nigga. Read the room. Read the room. <laughs> so what oh, y'all gonna go man. with? Y'all going with pyramids or y'all going with all the, the knowledge underneath the ocean? Give me the ocean, though. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my, my thoughts change. I wanna I wanna know what's under. Okay, Meg. Yeah, let me see what's down there. Yeah. Get that gold that they lost and find out what happened to that plane that left. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking about Amelia Earhart. I'm thinking about all the lost treasure from all the the boats that were in the ocean. I need all that shit. You feel me? And then make friends with some aliens, nigga. What the fuck? What's popping? <laughs> Plus. Plus, the pyramids is dead already. This shit is alive. I need to know right. everything that's down. You know what I'm saying? This shit is right now. Pyramids dead in the motherfuckers. All right, yeah, you know, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, yeah. where's your You know what's crazy to me is, I just thought about this. Why, how is it that they can send like a, a rover to Mars and see what's on Mars, but y'all can't send a rover down the ocean and see what's down there? They did send one. Some ate that bitch. They was like, fuck it, never mind. Time out. <laughs> no, they didn't. They, they've never <laughs> done they haven't gone that far. Well, if we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of equipment that can go like super far down there and, and handle that pressure. Like they it's have the weight of the world, know, literally. literally. They can handle the whatever like. they can handle the pressure of going to outer space and in a whole new planet. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's reverse, man. Pressure. You lighter in space and yeah. under the water, that's the weight of the world on top of some machine that has to try to pull satellite images back. Like yeah. nothing can, but look, that's why they're saying that the spaceships is going down there. The spaceships, like these UFOs that are flying real close to the ocean, and they got that different fly pattern that's what's dipping down in there I think right. that when you go to when you go out of space you don't have to decompress before you come back into earth's orbit like into our atmosphere when you go so deep in the in the ocean you have to like slowly decompress slowly come up or else you'll get the bends because your body has to adapt to that different pressure so it's, it's not the same thing we're going out of wait water. how do you do it as a blowfish to here you just like slowly deflate <laughs> You frozen, you I, I feel I, bad because my nigga was dropping real knowledge. He's dropping. He trying to help. You see me, see me? I'm trying to have a real, a real conversation with a big shoulder ass, and all she could do is crack jokes because it's the off season right now, and her team didn't make it to the Super Bowl. Try harder, nigga. <laughs> Yo, damn, man. <laughs> Respect. Anyway, man, we're going to jump into this next topic. But before we do, I forgot to introduce our special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please excuse me and forgive me. Uh, we have an amazing uh, artist with us today. She's a comedian. She's a writer. She's a creator of a number of shows uh, and just a dope ass person. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the show, Miss Shantae Waynes. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you know what's you. crazy to hear? Yeah. We reminded you to do that before you started. I did, yeah. And, and, yeah. and Meg said it. Yeah. Still, I, up, I thought I was going to do it. And, and I you still know, forgot. listen, I'm just trying to make my way, you know. And <laughs> hopefully, the respect will come soon. That's okay. Thank you, CP. That's. Oh, I mean, God, you man. can hope all you want to. That shit still ain't gonna come. Wow. So. Yeah, rude he is. Tripping you on them skates. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be you back right after this. Like this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Look, relationships take work, all right? We all know this. And a lot of us would just drop anything we're doing to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well, but how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? This time around, I've been investing in myself a lot. I've been hitting that gym. And even if I can't go to the gym, I've been hitting the push-ups at the crib. I'm also back in therapy so I can keep my mental health sharp. So this month, 
BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. Whether it's hitting the gym like I do, making time for a haircut, or even trying therapy yourself, you are your greatest asset. You have to know that. So invest the time and effort in yourself like you do for other people. One of my biggest issues was I had automatic thoughts. And I didn't even know what that was until I went to therapy. And once my therapist kind of pinpointed that, I was able to lock in and not let that stuff affect me anymore. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than personal therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. So give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and all Dev Squadcast listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash squad. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash S Q U A D D. Next topic of the day, we have: Would you rather spend twenty four hours in a suit of armor versus a wet sweatsuit? Whose sweat is it? No, it's not. The sweatsuit isn't wet from sweat. It's just like soaking in water, and it stays wet all day. Uh oh, that's gonna cause some chafing between my thighs. I don't know about that now. Yeah, that might make my dick wrinkle up. Oh, you definitely gonna have raisin dick. <laughs> That's the wood, uh, man. You're going to have that raisin, my boy. <laughs> but then if you're in a suit of armor, like the one that like over your face and everything. Yes. Like, Ooh. like that. <clears throat> so a day of wet clothes or a day inside armor. Hey, you, you got, got hella armor, errors I'm going to ride down on the ops. <laughs> you got hella errors to run, too. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> yeah, bitch, you thought it was over? <laughs> <laughs> Both going to be heavy, though, but heavy well, a little fuck. bit. Is it, is it, could we get a temperature? What's the weather like? It's a, a spring LA day. So like a yeah. Chris 78, you know what I'm saying? 75, 78. I mean, that's spring? That's 78, that's almost summer. 80 is like summer. Well, I didn't say 80, did I? It's 80 right now. But 78 is too close. Say, you gotta say like say 70. It's 80 right now and it's in okay, February. Okay, well, what about 78, man? Cause that's what I said. Like seven zero. No, like seven eight. Okay, well, yeah, well, it's not what I said, but okay, yeah, it's, I, I know it's not what you said, Meg. It's what I said. Shut up to here. Your glasses look stupid. I can see you looking at porn. <laughs> <laughs> like, see me look too. Stuff. Like, look at me. He's looking at porn on his glasses. <laughs> Why well, zoom in with your so eyes? Like, That's me in there. He ain't looking I, at porn. <laughs> CP, I do not believe your Victoria's Secret story the way you just looked in the camera. Oh, word? I call my mama right now. I call my mama right I'm now. I'm saying I don't believe that you just like watch from a distance. You look like you got caught a lot. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. My eyes, my eyes are so good that what y'all consider a glance, like my eyes is like, like I could I, I could get a pop pop like that. And I got the whole image, color, HD, 4K, everything for the next two hours but that I can over review. And then pop, pop, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. Like, at my eyes, I can zoom in on the pores. You understand me? Like, I can count the bumps on the areola. Like, ooh, she got the little braille message. Her areola save women's restroom. That's what they say on the little braille tip. Hey, CB, if you, were, if you were a chick for, for three days, what would you do? Shit, if I spend the first two days playing with my pussy, I'd be dehydrated and tired. <laughs> I'd be getting yeah. my back blown out. <laughs> no, nah, I don't be, want no dick, man. I'm, I'm that. getting blown out. I'm seeing I'm what's popping, nigga. I'm, I'm going to get me a rose, and I'm going to squirt on OnlyFans for the next two days, and that's it. I ain't taking no dick, nigga. Ain't no nigga fucking me. Fuck that. Nigga you know, fucking you, you want you know Do you know that it's like... <laughs> One in 19 fucks, a nigga make a mistake and, and poke the booty hole for like a little bit. I, hey, oop, my bad. Because you know what I'm saying? The pussy get wet enough, you just slide out there everywhere. <laughs> fuck all that. Anybody got time for that? No, you nigga. Fuck. I you can't be no bitch, You dog. ain't going to tell me you're going to be a woman for three days you ain't going to fuck once. You going to fuck. <laughs> no, I guarantee you're going to fuck. I'm going to practice first. A nigga ain't finna just go ham on me. 
A nigga ain't finna just do what he wanna do. I, I'm about to practice first. I gotta get me yeah. deal though something. I can't. I can't. A nigga ain't finna just have his way. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. make love to yeah. pregnant day two of your three day as a woman. Like, like ah. here's a to here's a thought. You understand know me? To here, be like, can I keep my same tattoos? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> can I keep my same tattoos? Listen, I'm, I'm, niggas a thought, man. Man. I'm in every VIP. I'm in every club. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting ate out. <laughs> Eat me out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I started yeah. saying that like months ago, and I just started telling people I'll be. I don't know why, but so when we take the little boat adventures and stuff, I got the whole boat screaming, "Eat me out!" It's like just a <laughs> level, just a level the playing field. So like, just eat the dick, eat the pussy, but either way, right. eat me out. <laughs> It's, it's way more respectful than suck my dick. Yeah, it's way right. more respectful, right? Like, and it sounds good. fun to say, eat me out. <laughs> Stop trying to sell that shit. That shit ain't sweet. Like, you trying, oh, to, you you trying to sell it like, like, like he want us all to be saying it by the end of the call. Y'all gonna oh, listen. Nigga. I guarantee, I guarantee some people gonna be, when they gonna watch this episode, they gonna finish hey, it. It's crazy. Hey, let me yeah. ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, though. Let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> how come, how come, if you, when you get, let's say you get too drunk and your dick can't get hurt, mm -hmm. how come women don't offer you the opportunity to scissor like they will offer a bitch who don't even got a dick? What, <laughs> what is the point of scissoring? Uh, What's the point of scissoring in the first place? Oh, well, you have two clitorises. Yeah. But and you think this shit ain't bigger than a clit? Are you disrespecting me? This that is, is a freaking gummy bear. Ain't nobody trying to be scissoring no you gummy bear. Gummy worm. You know, a clit is better than a gummy bear? Yes. You can feel, when you feel like you'll feel the clit and you'll feel wetness. Mm -hmm. So you feel all that traction on rubbing on each other. You can also feel like when you're coming, you feel that shit dripping on your mm. pussy. So it's a whole different the you know what the real problem is it's I'm not that two, it's a two, dick. Two, two. Go ahead. Yeah, it's not because it's a dick of pussy. It's because y'all y'all would do it a whole different way. We would y'all niggas would be like, oh, this is this is what it is. You would take all of the the sexiness out of it. I would be quiet and good, man. Nah, I would just I would just want I try to have a good time. If a nigga can't get it up, jump on the scissor. I never or, understood. Or or Eat me out, cause you can always do that too and get it back up. That's also, <laughs> come on, yeah. man, say it, say it one time with me, CP. Nah, I don't want to say it. Man. Come on, bro, say it. I don't want to say out. it, man. Say it. I don't hey, it. go. I don't hey. Say it. It's fun to say. It's yeah. fun to say. When you say it one time, you don't want to say it again. Just try it one time. Just try it one time. I'm not doing man. it, bro. My niggas oh, in Detroit watching this. We're not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the hood, nigga, nigga. Hey, nigga. And no, cunnilingus instead. Take cunnilingus. Yeah. No, that's that. That sounds. Ridiculous. I like to hear. So you don't know about your future crime. Send you don't ask fuck around and do thirty days. But hey, I know you. S you be the oh yeah, you know me, but no, 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 no. Fuck all that. I don't know nothing yeah. about them. <laughs> no videos and shit. Ain't no pictures saw, of it. I, I saw one clip of you. Yeah. You act like I'm asking her to lift my legs up while she do it. I'm it's regular head. I'm just saying, eat me hey, out. Man, when I hey, say you don't know how I imagine head. Head is hey, you don't you don't know how I play it at the crib, nigga. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, leave me alone. They, they, they only <laughs> treat you like this until they see it work. And that then, is. And about a week, you send him some pictures. He gonna be like, "Yo, eat me out, eat me out, eat me out." Change the whole shit up. No, that's gonna be my new single. That's gonna be my first single off the mixtape. Eat me out. <laughs> I just, I do want to see you put your legs back on one of them. Dude. I wish my yes. legs could go back there for a shot. I can't even cross my legs when I'm sitting down. My whole leg will fall off like a goddamn GI Joe. I. Can't. To save my life, somebody put a gun in my head, like cross your leg, motherfucker. I'm like, you might as well go ahead and pull that trigger, my nigga, because you're gonna be wasting you wasting your words yelling at me. My leg don't Bruh, you can't you can't start with your feet and then like squeeze up your leg just to just to, if you had to do that before dying. Kill me, nigga. I'm not even gonna I that's painless, that's quick and painless. But you want me to hurt myself before you possibly hey, still kill could me? You, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Could you could you could you bust another point? You say what? Because you bust a nut at gunpoint. 
I don't know. Depending on how big the gun is. Yeah, see, that's a tricky shit. It, I know the it, women couldn't afford fat. Women to be. I'm just, I'm just too nervous to even think. It might that's very emotional. We check on. And some of them, <laughs> yes. Could you bust a nut at gunpoint? And like, if you don't, somebody gonna die. No, I would cry. I would. I would be too. Un- I can't if I can close my eyes. If I can close my eyes, <laughs> I got too much to emotional gun. stress. If if I can run in in place, I could. If you can run in place, if what? You can run in place, y'all niggas. You never ran like came while you was running. That used to be my shit in school. They be like, go what? on, go on and do this four mile run, and I'll be like this. <laughs> I'll hit it real fast. That and the uh, the the sit up thing where you hold yourself like up and you lift your legs up, nigga. Can you imagine? Can you imagine Shantae Teach running me track? This, girl. And then seizing it's... up and falling like like one of them goats. That be you know how them goats get scared like that. And that... Then... <laughs> oh, I always stopped and walked for the rest of the class. <laughs> <laughs> so it was the it was the the rubbing of the shorts that that made it's, you come. No, it's the friction. So like I, I think it's all in about how your genetics, your your genitals are set up. But yeah, if you, you got know, the big ass lift that you can kind of just well, get well, motorboat. I mean, no, they're not that big. It's just uh, <laughs> the the way the the clit sits. How do we keep it back on the clit? <laughs> <laughs> we need to say the, that is everybody needs listen, to stay on the clit. Yeah, always. Listen, you you, you got to start a lawnmower without priming that button. You can't even do it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Eat me out. It just. <laughs> Topic. <laughs> first of all, it's, it's a baby a on meow. here. That's that's to be made baby first it's word. A baby, eat me out, eat me out, eat me out. Like, oh my gosh, if my child hears this and she says oh, that, I'm he is I'm love saying it because it's so fun to say, eat me out. You right. do a dance for a baby, you know. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's let's put it to a vote, man. Well, uh, we put it to a vote. We don't even know what this is talking about. Armor, suit of armor or West sweatsuit? What? I'm doing West suit of armor. Both of them will give you a yeast infection, so I don't know <laughs> what the answer is. He didn't even say he didn't say nothing about how the crotch was set up. Like it could just, you know, what I'm saying, like I don't it's think it's either wet or it's metal. Either way, it's a yeast infection. <laughs> You can put some Just put a pad there. on, man. Damn, you act like you can't put a pad on to block that. Pad yeah. don't stick yeah. on wet clothes, and pad is, is it gonna stick on the armor? I don't know. I don't know how suit of armor is down there. I don't either. Shit, but they got minus that seven. He <laughs> should have put some grills on that picture of him and uh, Melissa and the kids. That'd have been sweet too. Yeah. What y'all going with? I don't know. I'm wet suit. I'm going with the suit of armor. Cause I'm gonna fuck somebody up. I'm gonna squeeze their head and make them bleed. <laughs> I think I'm going with wet. I'm going with a wet sweatsuit only because of ease of going to the bathroom. I feel like that that suit of armor. If you got to pee, you might as well just go ahead and pee on yourself because you ain't you ain't getting all you, that off. You're not gonna pee in the wet sweatsuit, nigga. Please. No, you go wet you already. Said, you said wet sweatsuit, right? Or you? Said no, I said armor. I said, I said I, that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the wet sweatsuit because yeah. I don't want to. I have to try to take off a suit of armor every time I got to pee or shit. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna go wet sweatsuit also because I, I mean, if I get too hot, there's nothing you can do if you hot in that armor. But if you hot with that sweatsuit, you could just go stand in front of your fan. Yeah. And CP, you not gonna be able to ch- move and choke people the way you think. This <laughs> that armor is like this, so you gonna have to have a big ass head <laughs> to be able to get. <laughs> yeah, I'm also I'm also gonna get hit by cars too, just to you know what I'm saying for fun. I'm gonna do all kinds of shit. Like, <laughs> it's made of like aluminum. That's a bin so easily. Yeah. Hey man, yeah. we gonna see. And, and, and if that bitch bend, it could be a little breeze in that bitch. So it's a win win. Play your boy. Hey, give me the armor. I never worn no armor before. All uh, right. Well, it looks like wet sweatsuit has it on this one. We're gonna jump into this last topic right after this. This year, it's time to get off the couch and get back into the bedroom. Blue Chew can help. Guys, we know that confidence can take you far in life. And when you feel confident, mm-hmm, you are at your best, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique 
online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost. You could take them anytime, day or night. So you can plan ahead or be ready when the opportunity arises. <laughs> the process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you receive your prescription within days, baby, within days. Oh, and the best part, <laughs> it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in the line at a pharmacy. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, <laughs> Your package has arrived. You know what I'm talking about? So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use the promo code SQUAD at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping, baby. That's it. That's BlueChew.com promo code SQUAD. S-Q-U-A-D-D to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for being our sponsors for Squadcast Podcast. Last topic of the day, we have would you rather live on a cruise ship versus a mansion in the middle of the country? So live on a cruise ship, always be around a lot of people, never have a solid place to you know, dock or anything like that, you're always on the go, or live in a mansion in the, in the middle of the country, like, I'm talking about, like, North Dakota, South Dakota type shit, like, you don't have a whole lot of neighbors, but you got a badass mansion, but you ain't really around nobody. Like, you, like, 100 miles from civilization. I want to say 100. I, I, I mean, I'm just, like, 40. 30, 40 oh, miles away not, from civilization. That's not, that's not worth a challenge. That's, like... That's what I was going to say. You got to say, like, 100 to here. Okay, well, let's say 100, then. Like I mean, 30, miles? 40 miles. Listen, if you got to go 30, 40 miles yeah. to a goddamn quick trip or a 7-Eleven or a Ralph's, that's still a fucking headache. Yeah. Right. I know, but, but it's, it's not equivalent to always living on a, a cruise ship. I think right. you have to make it to where it's like, ooh. It, okay. it don't... All right, 100, mile, 100 miles to the nearest store or or neighbor or anything like that. That's right. Give me the cruise ship. Because mm. wait, is am I by myself on a cruise ship? Like my family is just a big ass mansion of a ship. Or do we just got a regular ass room? No, yeah, it's 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 a cruise ship. You got the family with you. It's a yeah. I know what I'm saying. Is it a yacht? That's no, it's just a cruise ours. ship. It's a cruise ship. So other people are there. So you got a ton oh. of neighbors, basically. Hmm. And the Wi-Fi is the same on both. <laughs> what is the thing? On, on most cruise ships, you don't have great Wi-Fi. I mean, well, it's, it's, for for, it's, for, it's improved it's over the years. Area. It's improved over the years, but it still ain't great, great. For this scenario to hear, geez. Because there's a lot of people in the country don't have good internet either. Ain't no infrastructure. Uh, they got a little internet because they be on farm farmersonly.com. <laughs> 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 All in their profile, something about eat me out. That's a corn and some live stock. Call back. Don't shake your head at it, CP. Just say it once. You'll like it. I'm not saying it, man. The closest you got was me saying it as if I was Meg's baby, and that's it. <laughs> oh, you can say it before the day's over, Playboy. You, you gonna, gonna hear that song. Man. On a cruise yeah. ship, the scenery that you see, mm -hmm. there's obviously a school on board and all kind of stuff, but, I mean, we would obviously be cruising the world because you live there, so then I you just be cruising around Miami every, every 30 days. I think that... Um, I mean, yeah, you would see a lot. Go through, you know, a different adventure. Living in the country, it's like, you know, yeah, if I'm 100 miles from civilization, then there's no reason why I couldn't have a helicopter. Mm. And, and you have, you, you probably have help, like staff at your house. Because if you're a mansion like that, yeah. you have people why? that Shit. Well, Why would you need staff? I mean, unless they're going to live on the quarters. They yeah, could they if, you have, if you have that much property and it's that big, yeah. You got a strip club in there. Who, who do you think go dance on that bitch? Just nothing? Like, you got to have people in there that's on staff, lamb chops and shit. <laughs> um, what was I for to say? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell y'all today is my birthday. Hey, happy 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. Oh, Look man, I forgot, man. man. I did know that. Jesus pull Christ. It in like that. Oh, oh man. Y'all know I've been forgetting shit. Today's the March 7th. Birthday. I take back, I take back what I said about you being a blowfish. I'm sorry. Not on your birthday. <laughs> not on the You're not a blowfish. I'm a blowfish. That's what I meant. Oh, Pisces ass. <laughs> the Pisces, man. Pisces, dang. We out I'm here. In two weeks or three weeks. Hey. Hey, man. Good Pisces. All right, live on. Have y'all taken cruises before? Yeah, yeah I did. That shit I, the most I could ever do was like I did a seven day and was like I need to get the f off yeah. this ship. I agree. When I did a seven day, I needed I needed like two days, three days recovery when I got home. Like it was just it was a lot. I needed to like take a break from everything and decompress before I like went back into the real world. Probably yeah, I changed my answer. Give me the crib. Crib. <laughs> yeah. I have to say that, that. Dude, I like I like driving my cars and having dogs and shit. Hmm. Mm, okay, okay. I say I do I like say that the, though. I say the crib because you can't you can't really protect yourself being in the ocean like that. It's too many things. Like you got a crowded space, you got to deal with more people. You can't have your time. Uh, depending if you single or not, they don't want you to smash anybody on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot more rules than to being in your own spot. And I feel like if you got a big ass mansion like that in the country. You'll be able to fly yourself out somewhere. Mm. Yeah, you, know, you can be like Tyler Perry and build your own fucking landing strip. So, yeah, dude. that motherfucker got an airport at his crib. Yeah, crib port. Shit, man. Must be nice. I don't know. This is so hard. Here's the thing: with the cruise ship, you, you get to see different places all over the world. Uh, you get to make friends on a cruise ship. Um, they got a gym. Everything that you need, all the food is already cooked for you. Um, you're just gonna be on a cruise ship forever. Mm -hmm. Why is are we involved in like things that can happen, natural disasters? Because I'm, I already get sick on a boat. So you got it's that, and then it's like, what if something go down? You're in the middle of nowhere versus like standing up for your fort. I mean, shit. If you if you answered. <laughs> Know the secrets of the ocean earlier. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly where to go. So like you holler at the alien, like, yo, can you right. get away from me real quick? I heard the volcano's about to erupt. Right. No, nah, I'm good. Country. I, I don't know. I think I want to do the cruise ship just for the travel factor. I thought about that, but then you scared me talking about you want to get off the boat every seven days. I'm like, she's right. And then you're gonna need drama me. No, nah, man, think about the cars you could have. And you can mm -hmm. do a lot of crazy shit in the country because you I just like to drive, it. yeah. ATVs and, and dirt yeah. bikes and all that type yeah, of shit. Man, foursomes. <laughs> Here's the thing though, like it's, it's really... I think I mean think about that shit. Now I'm like, man, low key, you ain't bullshit, man. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? saying? Walking room He's a like, maniac. What? Just being there trying to go crazy, you know what I'm saying? You walk in the room and be like, what CP? All right. <laughs> Come on. Suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> that horse that sounds is harsh. But yeah. Man, it's not harsh, don't it? But guess it's what? It's 100 miles yeah. to the crib, bitch. No. So how you gonna play it? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna cry in that Toyota or that's Maybach? Right, right. <laughs> you wanna cry at that Greyhound station that's coming in two days? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So, like, nah, I'm gonna be very polite. I I'm not even that cut, bro. I'm gonna just be like, y'all having a good yeah. time? Cool. <laughs> having a good time that's what's up, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> it's something very daunting and humbling about going on a cruise ship and after y'all y'all have left the dock and you're in the middle of the ocean and you look in every direction that don't see anything but water that shit right there is very humbling because you realize how small and insignificant we are as humans in the, in the sense of like the grand scheme of things nigga, the world is big and like you in the middle, and you think this cruise ship is huge, but that shit is like a tic tac in the middle of the ocean. You can get the, the same humblement by going to a porn open call and then showing up and then just trying to do your best and realize that like the world is huge, man. And I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so insignificant, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what the heck, CP? 
the stroke that I brought in here was not even, this is, this is a, a very pedestrian stroke. This is, not, <laughs> this is not professional at all. It's like, these pussies are huge. That is, what am I doing? I'm sorry. They just tell you, hey, baby, just stop. Just, just stop and beat me out. Stop it. I don't know. Cruise ship got entertainment that changes. Well, actually, not all the time. If you I got a movie there. theater in this house, though, Meg. I don't need that type of entertainment. Don't can that. you imagine the sixth time you see the onboard comedian in six months? He's just like, yeah, y'all heard you went about that? You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have, man. I mean, but here's the thing. Like, with that type of stuff, the talent can get on and off, though. So that could swipe out. You know what I mean? True. They dock and they they did get on when the when the boat docks at different places. So the talent can switch. Are people up. changing? Is your new people coming? Are you the only people that stuck on here? Everybody else can keep changing because that changed that, that raised the stakes. Yeah. yeah. You're the only you're the only family that stays on. Some families stay on a little longer, some families get off. No, nah, everybody gotta get up every week. It's just me. <laughs> That'll be new people. Yeah, that's I mean, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go cruise ship. Oh, now you're back, you back on the cruise ship. You back on the cruise ship, mate? I am. I'm going to the cruise ship. Okay. All right. All right. You say so. I think I'm staying. I'm staying at the crib, yo. Like we knew you were. You don't like to be around people to hear. My family, my friends, I do. There's not a whole lot of extra people. Being around people is exhausting, man. When you are an entertainer, like you don't, I would feel like I would never be able to be off if I'm on a cruise ship. Cause everybody, if they recognize me for something, they're gonna, hey, you did, t- tell me a dad joke. I just, I just right. wanna get this fucking rib. It's, it's, get this rib for goddamn buffet and go sit down and eat. Hmm? Especially when you don't know people, you you know, you feel like you gotta do that stuff as well. Niggas that know you be like, man, I don't, I don't feel like talking right now. Yeah. But on the cruise ship, most people aren't gonna know you. These are like old white people that be on the cruise ship. Nah, it's a time join a cruise ship. They know you. <laughs> Wait, you didn't say that. If you said that to begin with, I would be like, I'm not getting on there. <laughs> hey man, Nick, I like your watch thing. Where'd okay. you get that from? Amazon. That's nice. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, who, who Tom Joyner? Have y'all gone on the Tom Joyner cruise? I have. Yes. Hell no, Tahir. I bet you had. And you like it? Was, it was, was Tahir's as far as I could see. A bunch of Tahir's <laughs> running around just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did it for um, back freaks running I around. Won, uh, <laughs> I, won, I won a contest at the J spot, and so me and Funny Lady went on as uh, comedians. But it was cool. It was just something to do every night. That was the cruise. I was like, I needed a break when I got home from because it was something to do every night of. The cruise and they had activities during the day. Um, it was very light skin versus dark skin type type of thing. Right. I see that work. Like you were smashing Overna, Betsy, and Eleanor. No, no, I was not smashing no Overna. I smashed a Porsche. Mm. <laughs> a Porsche. She, and that's that's how she introduced. She, she we were dancing in a club. She was like, "My name is Porsche. Like the car you wish you drove." I was like. <laughs> Oh, don't, don't you wish you had a fourth like, bitch? Shut the fuck up. I already, I, 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 get your keys. I got a motherfucking what, bitch? Let me get us out of here. Like, the I, I went to work on her old ass. Don't come to me like that. 65 years old. Yaga, yaga, yaga. Wore that ass out, huh? Wore it's like, Ray, oh, yeah. Wore that 65? ass out. Mm-hmm. How old was she for real to 65. hear? She was 65, but she looked good. Looked good. I mean, Angela Bass is 60, ain't it? Ain't it? Yeah. Angela, you look good as Can you, t- when, when you smash a woman, oh, can you tell that her vagina is 65? Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes it has a little, you know, little, little telltale signs. She had gray. Like what? Like what is the telltale sign of a 65? She had gray hair. She had a gray leather. Oh, okay. Whiskers. Sometimes it don't even look like this age of pussy. Like pussies look new now. <laughs> it's, it's like one of them old vintage. Like uh, one of them pussy, like one of them old record players. They got that big ass horn at the top. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The pussy was sitting in a wicker chair. It was a big, the big round back mm-hmm. wicker chair. What? 
Pussy knew a lot of songs too. Pussy been around for a minute. Pussy was like, <laughs> Give me one reason to stay here. Like, that's not even that old. <laughs> he knew that shit. I don't know if it worked somewhere like Hooters or something, where they had a nice CD that they kept around a little playlist. You know what I'm saying? But sixty-five-year-old yeah. vagina to hear. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't gonna lie. I had sex with this old lady back in back in the day. How old? She's like fifty something, but I was like maybe nineteen or twenty. This, she didn't look like it though, right? No, nah, she. But you know what? When I got done, it was all this makeup all over my face, and I went and looked in the mirror and scared the shit out of me. I looked dead, and it was like this bitch didn't put death on me. So <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? You look like her. Y'all switch faces. <laughs> I swear to God, it was so much makeup on my face. I'm like, damn, bitch. I, it was like it was just it was everywhere. It was like real light. That shit was I like I like one of them kabuki niggas. I was like, you ever see ever seen uh, Ace Ventura 2 when he was fighting Tommy Davidson? <laughs> I was like that. So I was like, man, I, I realized that I'll be able to fuck older women when I'm an older nigga. And then right now, or for, for the rest of my life, until that time comes, I think younger women is just where is that? <laughs> like niggas be trying to like, why you want to do that when you only got a little bit of time where you're gonna be able to fuck younger women for free. Wait, what? I don't know what he said, but how about uh? <laughs> you can't. You, well, 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 you, you, you get an old man fucking no young girls for free, no. Nah. But when you a young nigga, you can do it for free, and you know what I'm saying. You know, it's fun mm-hmm. both ways. What what y'all going with? I'm gonna live on a cruise ship. Cruise ship, okay. Shout out to me, the crib. Country, I'll take the country. I'm gonna go with the country too. So it looks like the houses got it, the mansion got it rather. Uh, and that's been another episode of Squadcast versus man. I want to thank our special guest, Shantae Williams, for stopping by. Uh, shout out to the original squad, Meg Scoot, CP, and of course, I'm to hear more. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast versus. Peace, guys. <laughs>